It all begins with a blank sheet of paper and some rough sketches. After that, the car takes shape in the form of a clay model. All materials and processes are tested and simulated. Craftsmanship and state-of-the-art technology go hand in hand at every step along the way. The pressing tools are created with the utmost precision, then it's off to production. In the press shop, the steel is treated at high temperatures to improve the strength characteristics. In the body shop, robots do most of the heavy work. Next stop, the paint shop. Traditional series production no longer exists. In the assembly area, each car is tailor-made for each customer. The final checks are carried out by hand. And then the car is ready for the road. Once the design of a model has been finalized, the next step is to build the pressing tools needed for the bodywork. A tool is a mold that weighs several tons and consists of two halves. Robots cut and shape the structures, but the finishing touches are done by hand. The pressing tools are thoroughly tested, then get down to work in the press shop. The giant coils of sheet steel come directly from the steel plant. They provide the basic raw material for the car body. The press is fitted with the molds for one car part. Then the giant machine is set in motion. For safety reasons, no one is allowed near the pressing machines. Each car's millimeter-thin lines require the highest possible precision during the pressing process, and the machines quite literally work under tons of pressure. Robot arms transport the steel sheets from one mold to the next. All tools in the pressing cycle work on the same body part, one after the other, to shape the body design in several steps. The finished parts are then de-stacked using ergonomic aids. The press shop is the only place where traditional series production lives on. From this point forward, each car is individually tailored to meet the wishes of the customer. The individual parts now move from the press shop to the body shop. Most of the heavy welding is done by robots due to ergonomic reasons. After that, the next stop is the paint shop. The body shell is immersed in a tank for cleaning and degreasing. At this point, everything is still gray on gray, but this is where color comes into the picture. Filler, base coat, and clear coat. This is the order in which water-soluble paint is applied to the outer skin of the car. Each car is painted separately. If necessary, different colors are applied one after the other. Robot arms fitted with protective sleeves use a fine spray to ensure the paint is applied efficiently. Then, highly qualified paint specialists take over the final stages of the painting process. An environmentally friendly dry separation system filters the air in the paint shop. Each individual car body is examined carefully before passing to the assembly area. Flawless, high-gloss surfaces. At the paint shop, that's all in a day's work. A core phase of automobile production is assembling the car. This is where everything comes together. All preliminary work, all parts, and all materials are assembled here to form the final vehicle. In this phase, it's all about just in time. And that involves making sure suppliers deliver each part at exactly the right time. In this way, storage fees are reduced and the efficiency is increased. Nowadays, each car is tailor-made to suit the wishes of individual customers. Things have come a long way since traditional series production. Every car body has an identification tag that links it to a particular customer order. This tag carries all the information about the model features requested by the customer. At each stage, the right part must be in the right place at the right time. That's an impressive logistical achievement. Highly specialized employees are the key to the assembly process. They work with ergonomic aids, such as lifting devices, so-called manipulators, to keep physical strains and stresses to a minimum. After final assembly is complete, the next step is the final inspection of each vehicle. 
The light tunnel makes it easier to spot any irregularities in the surface of the car. Here again, the human eye is the best gauge. Robots have long since become an integral part of auto manufacturing. They play an especially important role in areas with challenging working conditions. In the body shop and in the paint shop, for example. In the body shop, heavy parts are delivered from the press shop and welded together by robot arms to form the full body of the car. All through the production halls, these arms swivel and turn in a programmed ballet as the robots help employees perform their own tasks. Factory cages protect the humans from their robot colleagues. Nowadays, robot arms are much more than just mechanical aids that do the heavy work. Over the last few years in particular, their potential has steadily increased as technology has progressed. Robots are becoming more precise and safety sensors more sensitive. Humans and machines are already working hand in hand in the first pilot projects. A glimpse of the future within our grasp. The most important tools in automobile manufacturing are the hands of the employees. Irrespective of all the high-tech devices and robots, the success of the production process ultimately still depends on craftsmanship. It begins with the first rough sketches and continues all the way to the final touches on the vehicle. In fact, no matter which type of car is being made, craftsmanship is part of every stage, from the selection of materials to the stitched cockpit features. From building the engine blocks and the assembly of individual elements to the final inspection. Indeed, finesse and craftsmanship are the ultimate quality guarantee. Cars are not only made by machines, they're built by around 600,000 employees of the Volkswagen Group worldwide.